So the story development process has four key stages, beginning with insights. We're at stage two, which is in the development of the big idea that will formulate into uh, the New Zealand Red Meat story and the brand platform that sits beneath it. So our ability to create real value will come from a deep understanding of what consumers think, feel, and what they need, and ultimately what they'll pay more for. And our storytelling efforts will be no different. So we've got a real emphasis on being market-led in our development approach and really making sure that we understand what will motivate and resonate with consumers in the global markets that we're selling our products to. It's really important to me that we're working with a small team of really key strategic thinkers that come with a diverse set of skill sets and experience to add and create more value um, together. So we've partnered with a company called Foundational to help us develop the big idea and the New Zealand story. We started by immersing ourselves in the substantial body of insights work that's already been completed to date. We also looked at a lot of the consumer trends and food trends that we can see from around the world that are affecting consumers right now. We also looked at the competitor set to see what other countries are starting to put out into the marketplace and drawing upon also some exemplars. So what are some of the um, great examples that we can actually learn from and in fact steal a few ideas from in this process? Canada have done a fantastic job building a story that really builds upon who they are as a people in their country. It's a really overt nationwide brand they've developed. They show wide open lands, talking about people with open hearts, open minds, really being really welcoming. It's actually freakishly like the New Zealand story. The Aussies similarly have done an amazing job uh, talking about they're also big open wide open spaces and they're actually making an overt pitch to millennials uh, with leveraging the real Aussie relaxed fun party lifestyle and heavily heavily presenced on social media. So that really brought into sharp focus that for us all the things that we'd naturally gravitate towards in a New Zealand story others are actually already talking about. Taste, great red meat that's incredibly healthy, raised in big open pastures in a sustainable way by intergenerational family farming, a lot of people are telling the same story. So that really brought into sharp relief for us that what is, we gonna, what is it we're going to leverage that's credible and powerful that'll set us apart and actually start to command a premium in, in the minds of customers. Now an end story is ultimately a bundle of components, so what we've looked to do at this stage is, is pull the components apart. We want to understand which components are connecting with what customers and ultimately why they are connecting with them. And from that we can actually draw new learnings to build upon that. So from here what we're going to be doing is taking those learnings into market, testing it and then zeroing in on what is most powerful and in what order to, to what customers. So at this stage we've developed some really early stage propositions um, around what we could look to explore in each uh, in market. And we, pull, we call them territories and what we did to make sure they had veracity, we tested them with a number of, uh, we ran a workshop session, we tested them with a number of industry experts including uh, people from the, the meat industry. In that workshop we looked at what were some of the big issues um, that are affecting consumers, um, drivers and challenges they face in each market. We also looked at what are the credible proof points we have under each territory and ultimately we got the group to challenge and push the thinking under each territory. So from here what we're doing is then now refining it into a final, each of the territories into a final form that we're going to take to market and test further. Ultimately that'll give us the insights and, and the confidence to zero in on, on our final first draft of the story which will then will also further test and iterate in market. What's really, really important to me that we share our learnings and our insights with the sector at each stage of our testing within the market. As a sector, we need to be engaged and aligned in the, throughout the journey and the development process, and that we all each have an opportunity to contribute to that process. <laughs>